We are here today with our Aspen uh, Germany seminar, Philosophy and Practice, our leadership seminar in Klostermühle. And we have just finished our second day um, of intensive discussions um, and also practical exercises. And I'm really happy that I'm here with one of our participants, uh, Barbara. Um, maybe we can start, Barbara, by you telling us a little bit about yourself, what you do. Sure. So I'm Barbara Capodiferro. I am a director at uh, an investment bank. I've been working for uh, 10 years and I am very happy to be here these days. Um, Barbara, you uh, currently live in Italy. You are from Italy. You also lived in uh, Great Britain. You have been with Aspen Italy for quite a while. Now it's your first time in a leadership seminar um, in Germany. Um, what motivated you to come all the way and take the time from your busy schedule? Because you are also a mom and you have lots of lots of things to do. So um, I was invited to join uh, Aspen uh, a few years ago and I really enjoyed last year to do a similar seminar in Italy. So as soon as they asked me to participate to this one, I said yes uh, without even thinking about it. Um, because being in the finance industry for, uh, for a long time now, I always find really fascinating and really helpful for me uh, to develop my personal uh, background and also my professional background. To, to participate to such a diverse event where I can see people coming from uh, different cultures, different countries and different backgrounds. I feel really uh, full of like uh, knowledge mm -hmm. after such an experience. Yeah. And um, such an experience also comes with a lot of joy, fun, but also frustrating moments, learning experiences, being out of your comfort zone, being in your comfort zone. What would you say are you going to take away from this, this time? So personally, um, I have a strong and difficult personality, but I don't like <laughs> But I don't like being put in the spotlight. So what I found uh, uh, most difficult in this uh, in this couple of days uh, was uh, to to be to raise my voice and uh, say my opinion and take part in in uh, in things that I would not normally uh, take part, like uh, getting out of the comfort zone. I think it's uh, the most in interesting part. How many different uh, sessions we have, reading uh, material, discussing about materials, but also practical exercise is that uh, really uh, gives you a lot of value and uh, and a baggage of, of uh, more knowledge. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> which one does you like best? <laughs> so I have to say that despite is my is out is probably the more distant thing to me. I really love today performing the Antigone on the theater. Uh, it really uh, allows you to go deep into the text. I really love the reading the 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 Greek tragedy. We study a lot at school uh, in Italy, ancient Greek. Um, and I really love to put it into practice, uh, bring it to some sort of like modern context and uh, extract uh, what something so old can still give us as a, as a value and uh, uh, as a content to become uh, better leaders. Mm. Um, and I do have a difficult question, last question for you, because you just said to become a better leader. What is a good leader for you? <laughs> so for me, a good leader is someone that you, that you really can trust, that you can uh, really find inspiring and you can ultimately want to become like this. So it's someone that makes you feel comfortable that if you follow him or her, uh, that you can achieve uh, a better result. So I hope that in my career and also in my personal life that I can become someone like that. I think you are already that. <laughs> thank and you thank, thank you so much for participating. And um, I also want to thank um, Aspen Italy for sending you over here. Um, it's really a great pleasure um, and an honor having you in this group. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.